Um, excuse me. How much is this liquid liner? Oh, it's two dollars. Oh, these are cute. I love these. How much are these earrings? I want these. We could be anywhere, on the bus, on the train. Somebody say, you faggot or you gay. Someone's just picking on you. Someone doing something to you. No faggots. I've been stabbed 10 times. I've been shot. You get beat the fuck up. You will have no chance. Until you start hanging around us. When the checking first started, it was like 13 of us. And checking now, it's too many people to even count. You what's going on? This me and my killer, you better know it. Get us. Like, don't shit us. <laughs> okay, but that's the job. To be in the jacket, you have to have a good sense of fashion. Wow, crazy, colorful. To walk with us, you have to have a heart. Who you believe that you can be and you're not gonna take no bullshit from nobody. What's going on? Oh, what do you just do? I just Cut it off, please. No. She said talk like that. I would not talk like that. What do you? Why would you do? Oh, no, wrong way. There you go. <laughs> a lot of these faggies that's coming up look towards us as a role model and stuff like that. A lot of my friends are role models to faggies that they may not even know that they're role models to. It was because of the check-in that these faggies feel more comfortable within themselves to come outside. We can go out in public and have fun without being criticized because of if they criticize us, they know what the consequences could be. We carry mace. Some people might carry a hammer, a knife. A couple of us got a gun, whatever. I mean, that's about it. Me up in my two-piece looking so fucking fabulous as always, darling. You see me in my two-piece? You said I had butt hair? I see your balls. You would, child. <laughs> <laughs> the check it is not what made me. I've been this way. I grew up in and out of juvenile facilities, always locked up, foster homes and stuff like that. So who turned the air conditioner off? Trey. Bitch. Huh? Trey turned the air conditioner on. How you turn it back on? Now, she don't need to touch nothing right. for some I shit. Her <laughs> Ooh, she popped up and stuff. <laughs> there you go, bitch. It's a frog stuck in your head, Jody. Catch it. Ooh, no. <laughs> yeah. Why does it keep going hot? I want cold water, bitch, not hot. In my life, to be a gay person waking up every day, it's a survival thing. There you go, right there. A lot of people fail. A lot of queens have failed. They didn't make it through the hood. They couldn't make it. Things happen. Only the strong survive. And that's all the girls you see now. It's like a family that I always wanted. Like, they're my brothers. We sisters. Like, we all sisters. When we go out places, we go out as one. 
you go outside, if somebody bothering you, and you call us, I'll be there to fight for you. When the call come along, we're there for each other. I have a girl Instagram, and I have a boy Instagram. I have two people inside of me. I have two lives that I live. The girl, she's not going through no stress. She's not going through no depression. She live a happy life where boys accept her, boys like her, boys into her, boys say she's pretty, boys say she's nice. Boys just really love who she is versus Trey. Oh, hell. And that says it all. The boy got mistreated a lot. Growing up, like, I see other kids, their house be clean, and they eat at the table, they get baths. Our mother was on drugs bad. Well, her choice of drug was crack cocaine. I witnessed drug use or people that you don't know sleeping over top of your kids, sleeping next to your kids, and you don't know them. No child should experience that. And it was just, mm. Mm -hmm. I like it because I like the material and I like the texture of the whole thing. And I need to try it on like right now. My father does not accept the fact that I'm gay. When I dress up like a girl, when I just do certain things, when I carry girl bags, he'll say stuff like, take that shit off, or I don't like that girly shit. This is the bra that I'm going to get. A 36C. But there's nothing he can do about it. He can't stop me. It's me, not him. He doesn't have to live this life I do. The most they work her down. Yeah, I didn't say that you didn't have a nice body. I would say you did still have muscles. That's I say like. Okay, it's, it's just nice and healthy. And yeah, I did not say nothing was wrong with your okay. body. It's just muscles. That's all I say. I didn't say anything was wrong with your. I already knew I was gonna be a lady when I was like young. I had sex with a girl before, but I just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> My mom, she just used to always say, I need to dress like a um boy. I need to stop dressing like this and stuff. Like, I just don't know why wouldn't she want me to dress like this. Like, I'm so hot. to be like, you slow, you dumb, you retarded, you can't read, you faggy ass bitch. Saying all this stuff in front of like everybody on the blog. I got tired and I, and I threw her down the whole flight of steps. So that's when I guess they got tired and wanted to ship me out to the mental home. <laughs> My life has just got crazy. 
I've been doing taking care of myself since I was 14 years old. So, like, I had to learn how to live for myself. Um, I started trucking when I was 14 years old, and um, just to go make a couple of dollars out there, just to have some type of money in my pocket. That's all. How are you going to pay your rent? If it's no money, like, what are you going to do? So. A lot of these young people, they just left out there by themselves. People have to give up on them because of their sexual preference. You know, they got kicked out of middle school. So a lot of them can't read, a lot of them can't write. Some of my homeless. A lot of times, just being black, you have a lot of odds against you. Being gay and black, that's a whole different ball game. They in a world of their own. I've been told that I'm crazy. I've been told I'm a fool, but I mean, I don't think that. I was incarcerated, and when I came home, I wanted to get back and make up for all the wrong that I did. So I did a lot of work in the community. All you heard was check it, check it, check it. They were fighting every day. And I'm like, you talking about some gay people fighting? They was like, yeah, and they not scared to fight. They not scared to get stabbed, and not scared, scared to stab back. And I was like, wow. I couldn't believe it. And we started doing outreach, so we identify who the key players are and we go after them. We go after the leaders, because they're the ones who make the change occur. Ladies and gentlemen, in the nation's capital and beyond, we are back at We Act Radio with your host, Ron Moten, on The Other Side Radio, where every story has another side. It's a sunny day in the nation's capital as we try to make today a better day, not for one people, but for all people. Today, I have a special guest, a young guy who we call Trey. And this young man uh, got involved in the first gay gang that's documented in America. So Trey, give me a little background on yourself and then how you got into uh, the Check It Gang. We started off, it was only a little bit of us. We ain't had no beef, so nothing like that. Other gay males started being with us, hanging around us because of the safety. And that's how we started, like, fighting everybody, beefing with this person, this person, because of taking up for other people. And what about, for instance, um, I won't say any names, because I'm not going to incriminate anybody, but what about making people drink bleach? It's crazy how, what you have to do to live your life as who you are. Mm -hmm. And living your life as a gay person in D.C. where there's no self-defense, you can't carry this, you can't carry that, no type of weapons at all, what are you supposed to do when you have to defend yourself? Mm -hmm. So that's when we start going, taking it to the next level. We want the G-E-T-T-I-N-G-L-O-T. The gang check it had mainly been known for hanging around the Chinatown Metro stop fighting, snatching purses, and getting locked up. Oh, A lot of people that's with the check-in were forced in that direction. So check it took over. Took over every club, every hood, going to clubs, fighting, beating up people. We putting people in the hospital, going up in your hood, in your house, whatever we did. And that's how we made our name, fighting for each other. That's where we got our respect from. And I tell you, y'all were gangster with it. You know, you meet this crew and that crew, and y'all get it in. Well, 
a lot of gays that's with the track it, we're pushed in that direction, not having nowhere to go, not having no one to count on and stuff like that. But no one with the check it is a thug. Like you all say, you are a family. You look out for each other. You all sleep at each other's houses when you put out by parents who won't accept you for who you are. I mean, you fight for safety and protect one another. So now I want to I wanna talk about what we call the check it transformation to get them in the fashion industry. One of the things that the check it guy, like it's fashion. They're good at it, they, they, they stylish. So when I asked them what they wanted to do, it was like their eyes lit up, fashion. That's it, you gotta have a hook to get the fish. You know, so that was the hook. to do is I need you guys to just kind of get together so that we can go over the orientation packet. My name is Jamal Harris and I'm a fashion show producer. I am the CEO and founder of the Jamal Harris Project and basically we train youth in performing arts and fashion show production. So this summer we're going to put together our own production and we're going to have a huge fashion show at the end of the summer, okay? You'll be split up amongst several groups. The supervisors are going to be fun. We're going to give good energy give good energy back, and we'll have a great time this summer, okay? It's all in what you make it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate into groups. Stay here if you're not interested in technical theater. I'm doing fashion and design, yes. honey. <laughs> fashion and design. And you're gonna be in several groups. One is hair, you're gonna go to hair, you're gonna go to makeup. I'll basically be teaching you guys how to produce your own fashion shows, how to network. <laughs> What's going on over here? Okay. I'm not gonna have it with you guys. I'm gonna separate you guys. Okay. Be as creative as you want. These are your visionary boards. These are your look boards. And you don't have to have the whole picture. Just cut their face out, whatever you feel. <laughs> Come on, baby, beat it away. <laughs> Professional piece. Right. On Friday, we're having a photo shoot. And we have to pick the best look from hair, the best look from makeup. So I just choose, like, this for wardrobe. And then for him. Hair, and then um, makeup. makeup. Just tell us what's going on. Listen up, everyone. Can they go first? Come on, you first. <laughs> so our whole concept of our boy is, we got our curls going on over here, you know, and we wrote um, beauty because she's beautiful, OK? <laughs> and we took it back to the 60s with um, sis right here. <laughs> <laughs> the jacket has the reputation of you don't mess with the jacket. But it's my mission to train these kids and show them, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can be fierce and you can be professional at the same time. And be accepted in the right way, in the good way. And not because you threatened somebody that you was gonna kick their ass unless they accept you. And he be so scared too. So scared. He's like, so scared. Beat me, I'll go ahead and buy drinks. He's always be scared. Be he did not used to like, he's like, I'm not coming around, it's kid who's coming around. He's the always think I wanna get out of here, bitch. Girl. You can't act like that in a work environment. Come on. Don't be sorry. You don't have to be sorry to me. I just want you to correct it so you won't do it again, OK? Yeah. Wow. This motherfucking attitude stinks. Like, his attitude give me, like, but I just got to got to um, cool down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got to take a, a cool break so I can try to be able before to deal with it. Before you just lash out. Before I just lash out on him. Like, because I will lash out on him. Like, if he keep thinking he's going to talk to me any kind of way, I'm going to lash out on his ass. They might look at us like, oh, we from the hood. And they, they so from ghetto. Our world, you know and like they look You know, we like. model and I done and did celebrities do makeup, so I'm so strong. And it get me in attack mode. Like, don't think you better than me, because I'm gonna show you that you're not. And I'm gonna storm you, put your head in the ground. Because guess what? You could be better than me, but mm -hmm. you can't fight better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I know my mother or my father. Like, my mother didn't want no kids. I mean, I know that she was on drugs at first. And then, I don't know. I mean, she used to stay out, like, never come home. Like, I don't know where she probably got him at. The check-it came along, and we just all stuck together ever since then. This some people from the check-it. This Mike, and this Tehran. This check-it, he put baby check-it. 
this bubble, she with Dom checking, Miss Tavis. A lot of people think that gays are weak and that we can't fight, but I just got tired of it, like, just letting people pick on me and say what they want to me. And so once I just start fighting back, and ever since then, I've just been a fighter. Ready? Yeah. What's up with you? Nah. <laughs> so, you got your, so you got your eyebrows done. Please. <laughs> Skittles was so good with his hands that his ass needed to be in the ring. Don't use your talent to go to jail. Use your talent to get you out the hood. Go out there and be the, the first gay boxer to openly say that you're gay. If that's what you want to do, if you want to be gay and fight, go get paid for it. I seen him knock some people out. One minute, uh, he was quiet, and the, the person they probably thought they were going to knock out, and then the next minute, they on the ground knocked out. But one thing I can say, he didn't start it. He just finished it, you know? And that's how most great fighters are. They normally finish the fight. Come on, let's go. Venom. Sit on, chin down. Good. Two jabs. Go. There you go. Try it again. Skittles, when he first came here, I mean, he's out the closet with big bows on his head, lipstick, flaming. Talking that bullshit. <laughs> twist with it. Twist with it. Come on, come on. Twist. Look, bang, bang. Plant it. Thank you. That was it. There we go. Come on, work time. Let's go work. Go. When you come in the gym and you a gay man, people do look at you as being weak. That's how you want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> people really want to fuck him up. People want to beat his ass. Like, put him in the ring with me. Put him in the ring with me. I'm a, I'm a you know, real talk. <laughs> Skittles is getting it. <laughs> The first time I put him in the ring, he told me something. If somebody hit him hard, he gonna stab him. How the hell are you gonna do that? <laughs> you can't do that shit. Seven and four. He got potentials, though. He learned quick. He hit hard. There you go. That's right. Real hard. Hey. He just gotta learn the basics. Hitting, getting hit. And it don't take two days. It don't take two months. It might take a year. It might take two, but you have to build it. Somebody gonna whoop your ass. If you don't hit hard, they gonna walk through you. Come on. There you go. Do it again. They make a man out of you. I don't care how much faggot you is. <laughs> you a man up when you get out that ring. Come on. Damn. Let me see your hand, man. You can't fight with no pierces and all the earrings and necklaces and all that when you're a fighter. When I get into it, like, I really be in it. Like, I'm not going to stop unless, you know, the police get me up off you or unless one of my friends drag me off you. That's the only reason I'm going to stop. Or if you bleed. As you know, all of our facial structures are different. And so what we want to do today is we're going to use the supplies that we have here. You can use the gift, whatever you want. You use the markers. And we're going to create hairstyles to suit each other's face. Oh, I think I got the best awkward. This is Bone Kui Kui. And like, she just been through a rough time in life. She really don't care about nothing or no one but herself. And she don't care what nobody think about her look because her look is Fitting for her. She just like her look. She's just a lonely old girl in her own little world. Living life. Wow, me and her together. We got her down. I need you to measure 36 inches, and wherever it says 36, I need you to cut. That's right, just do a straight across. We're going to do a straight stitch, and with the same seam allowance, 5 eighths of an inch, we're going to do a zigzag stitch. You have the shirt, but you need to coordinate it with a nice print. A lot of people is not going to last through the summer. People don't realize you have to work your way up to the top. This green button, push it down, and, and give it some gas. I do think I'm going to make it through the whole program because I know how to separate myself. I like this. If you do not have a pen or pencil, grab a marker. Yeah, you need to do this. All you doing is just saying, what picture you like? Why you ain't stay over here? Okay. Mind your business, D. Separate. 
I'm not even talking to the hamburger. Separate. It's, it's always already. me. It's come always got to be on. me. Come on. Come on. Let me get away, because every time I come around you faggots, it's always something. <laughs> you don't do nothing anyway but run your mouth. You damn right. And make like everybody laugh. Like hey, 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 that's because I'm ghetto as shit. Hard. But that can't be you ever. Like, when you really get a job or something, you going to be ghetto down on your job. Yeah, I'm going to be like, hey, you going to be fat. Bitch, please. People are really scared of the check it. Like, Everybody I know, like, they're scared to go down gallery place because they're known for jumping people. Kill That's what I heard. The thing is, they don't fight one-on-one. -on -one. They jump. Like, all of them just fight. I seen that down, down gallery when they put that girl in the hospital. Like, you can't look at them wrong. You can't do like can't this or nothing. But they be like, what is you looking at? I be like, none. <laughs> like, I don't know. Wow. Like, they probably got beat up because they were gay when they were younger. So now they're like, yeah, I'm coming like, back to like, beat everybody up yeah, just they because. It's like getting bullied, picked on, people didn't accept them. So now it's like, when people look at them now, it's like, oh, I remember that look from when I was younger, and people still look at me like that. So that's probably why they react they like still, that. They act like females, but the thing is, they still right, do. Right, they exactly. still got that muscle. They but might they be said, skinny, but they still got that muscle. They still do, so I don't know. When you live in a community where it's nothing but drugs, half the people kicked out of school, half the people not even raised by their mothers, that's not easy to deal with. Fuck you! Children like these group of children, they hold their pain in. And when it comes out, it comes out in a bad way. Like from other gangs, they have gone astray and have done a lot of things that you we would consider violent, uh, criminal. The minute somebody says something to them or does something to them, I've seen it. This explodes. When somebody's bullied, they become bullies at some point. Damn, no shooter. In some case, they turned out to be the, the predators instead of the preyed upon. For all of us, I wonder how we all who end up in the living the ghetto life, doing the ghetto things. She be back out to fight you. Fuck you. It's getting old. We all get old. I just guess I'm in a place in my life where though I'm trying to change from all that stuff that I used to live. I caught my first arrest charge from Check It. It was assault. I thought about it and I said, this not me. So it's just made me realize that that's not what I want to do anymore. 
And I have been writing, 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 and ideas been coming and coming. The things that I'm writing about, um, it's not just about me. I get my ideas from my friends and what I see every day. I want to put it out there for people to know what's going on. That's what I want to do. To do. Nothing, just riding around cool, man. Staying out of trouble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember when you killed the turtle? Yeah, when I dropped the brick in the water. Mm -hmm. And the whole turtle shit was crying. And then, do you remember the time I told you don't stick that key in the, in the, in the socket? socket. <laughs> and, and I said I was driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> remember, I was flinging the kettle around. I said, <laughs> Let's see if the cat can fly when I hit it to the wall and shit everywhere. <laughs> the time that you jumped off the dumpster, I told you, you don't get on the trash can, you broke your shoulder bone. That was a painful day. Mm-hmm. Because I thought she was telling the story. Because you ain't want to go where we had to go back in the shelter. I remember them days. The wild, crazy, fun days in Woodland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so be the three years clean in December, because I ain't count my jail time. I count the time I got on the street. If I count jail time, I'd be going on five years clean. But all I think I can do is take one day at a time. You know, just do what I can do. I can't take back what happened. Back on. Um, and I had to go through the thing where they took him. You know, I, I really heard it. Um, I just know I got to do something different. I don't ever want to go back to where I was at. You know, I like where I'm at, you know. I mean, I did things that really hurt them. But like I said, I was under my control. I was sick. I ain't really had no family. I came from Virginia to come out here. If I could turn the hand of time, you know, I, I, I probably would have did something different. Enough. But, um, I right, can't take enough. it back. I'm not putting her back. No, no, no. That's it. That's enough. No. Take your mic. That is enough. That is enough. No, for real talking about so serious. That's enough. Take your mic. No more. I don't want her to be all like that. No, 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 no. no. That's Hey, what scared was that, girl? What you mean, that ain't? Him and Pico around the corner. All right, what you up to? Nothing. All right. Thanks, bro. I've had people who have been around me dealing with them say, fuck this, mom. I'm not dealing with this. I don't have the patience for it. I'm not dealing with no unappreciative-ass children. You know, <laughs> that's what you're dealing with. The average person is not going to do it. But I always tell people, they need somebody to plant seeds. But at the end of the day, they had to take the next step. There you go, right there in the house. <laughs> Shit, we can bring the boxing ring in here. It's the empty in here. It's OK. <laughs> What's up? Are you serious? I was waiting for you. What was you talking about? What was you waiting about? for me? Oh, I was going to come right here and find you. You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Fuck you up. <laughs> Me and you walking together anyway. I don't mean to look the same. Yeah. I don't mean to talk. I'm just saying, I don't know. <laughs> How the fuck you have me come all the way up here for that chase you down? I'm I guess as I grew up around so many girls, and it's just like, I took on their tendencies and stuff, and like, 
I just always been flamboyant and gay. It's just who I am, and I mean, ain't nobody gonna stop me from being me. He's a natural talent. Most boxers, you had to get him in the type of shape he's in. Right now, and he believes in himself, but once he gets in that ring and sees he's better than everybody else, or can be better than everybody else, then I think the sky's the limit. Get set, go! So that's the first time he really ran. <laughs> what you think the color of your um your boxing wear? What's that going to be like? You know how like your little clear umbrella is, like the clear you know, umbrella that's plastic. Yeah. It's like that, like that material. But it's going to be like a paint, like a highlight paint. And what about your name? Is this going to still be Skittles? It's Diamond. Diamond Mafia. <laughs> you killing my nerves. <laughs> so why you don't just dye your hair or you want, you just go? I'm going to have my long Brazilian. I'm talking about like a regular haircut and dye it. No, I want Brazilian. What if somebody grab your hair? They, well, not you grab can't grab hair and box it and I can put my hair but in a ponytail. That's why it's in a ponytail, girl. So <laughs> yes, his hair is flowing. You better serve him while you boxing. <laughs> Even if I get knocked out, they be like, at least this day was pretty. first came here, the kids was whispering and all that, oh, you're a faggot, but really, they don't want to box Skittles because of these gays. Go. Bump, 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 bump. There you go. Come on. Come here. One, two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to get beat up by no one that's gay, you know? That's the first thing they thinking, you know? But I keep telling people, that's what he do. That's his, like a hobby of him. <laughs> when he wake up in the morning, he's a man. Skittles is from the street, from an area that's well known. You have to fight, you have to be rough. I can relate to it. I've been shot three times. So I know how to approach them guys. I know how to deal with them. I know how to talk to them. It's an amateur tournament coming up, right? And I'm going to let you know all attention going to be on you. I'm just letting you know that. They're going to be like, huh? Who I got to fight? You already know. So they're going to think you soft because your style or whatever. You got to shock the world, man. Huh? You got to shock the world, Slim. Up under all this little lace shit, all this bullshit, there's a man up under there. You understand what I'm saying? I just, man, you don't even know how I want to walk up in them motherfucking tournaments. <laughs> And you got your little heels on. <laughs> I'll be like, let's go. One, come on. Two, come on. Three, four, five. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what she was about to draw. That's the only reason why I stopped. I'm just glad to be where I'm at, to give back to people like Skittles. That's why I think I could save. I could save you, you know, but I just need your unavided attention. I said, man, you know what? The rate you going, you gonna be dead in two or three years. I mean, he really have a 50-50 chance of living with the ganging, banging, with probably having unprotected sex. I said, man, with the shit that you in, it's death, period. You better change. You better go on another road, because the road you're going down is, is dark and it's thin. But I can't help us. Ain't it's not 
I'm 16 and my name is Shahar, but I like to be called Naya. I started the prostitution on K Street and because everybody was like, oh, come on a beat, come on to K Street. I was like, all right, I'll come. One person. I didn't want to suck his dick at all. He's like, I give you $70 if you suck my dick. I was like, all right, cool, give it here. Oh, yeah. Niggas, they like to try and play and all that, but they must know I'm with the jacket. I got something for your ass. I'm little, so I don't like getting thrown around. You can get, like, hurt and stuff. Like, you can get raped, you can get stabbed. That's why I have that. He wants to get to his house and stuff. I ain't going to no toy house so you can shoot us up and leave us in the bedroom, put us in pillowcases and shit. Cut us up and leave us some trash bag, get on the ship and take us out to the Pacific Ocean. Baby check is for younger girls like me. People who are like 13, 14, 15, getting into the community and they need somebody like girls, like a family. Gary. I only go when I'm with somebody. When I go, I go with Gary all the time. It's my best friend. Don't give me those. <laughs> like I've never came without her. I love Gary. Big check it. They are people that been through this. They know what we do, like a prostitution game. They been there. They say, don't get no car like this. Don't do this, don't do that. Don't wear that, don't have that. They help you with shit. Hey, Bill. Hey. Hey. Hi. Bill, where y'all dicks at? Where them, where them dicks at? <laughs> When I'm on K Street, it's just all fun and games. My girls, the check is like, we are the life of the party when we come down there, so everyone loves us. Hey! Give me a cigarette! Can I have a cigarette? Can I have a cigarette? Babe, what's that? You got a nice haircut. That's a nice fade. For blood. Rapper! I just call it a club for the girls. Just chill on the block, messing around with everybody, talking to everybody. I got a condom for you, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, how much is your donation? I'm the girl you want. I'm the total package. I'm 57163 brown eyes, coffee, pearl, milk complexion. I got big fives, they full of surprise. Girl, the nigga ain't one bow down, girl, the nigga ain't one bow down, niggas bow down. Okay, here we come. Okay, bye, baby. See you later, cutie. Bye. <laughs> you have coin? Look, we got coin. Okay, we can't go this way, girl. Girl, can I go this way? Girl, we have to go this way. I just get my money and move on and buy me a pair of shoes or buy me with, you know, it's nothing. I want to continue prostitution, but when I get older, I'm going to stop. I am. I know by the time I get to 11th or 12th grade, I'm going to have my shit together. I'm going to be straight. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be, I'm going to be fine. I keep telling myself that I'm going to be fine.
The whole purpose of today is we are going to do a photo shoot for the flyer of the show, OK? We have a professional model coming in, a professional photographer coming in. You all play a factor in this, making sure that this shoot runs smoothly and that it looks good. All right, right now, Sharon, what are you doing right now? I'm putting under eye concealer. So you guys, what did you guys just learn just now? What is he creating? Good. All right. Guys, look at this. Well, we're doing super quick and super easy. People in Paris get get paid a lot of money, thousands of dollars, just to do these type of looks really quickly. Bam! Bam! Lean forward, baby, like you like you about to kiss the hammer. Diamonds is the girl's best friend. You have a rubber. If you want to go get your rubber, I'll fuck your rubber up. I just saw your brother at the station. He left it. Make some for what? I'll beat the shit out of him, girl. I beat my brother. I got this 26 years old, baby. You cannot beat my brother. Let's be clear. Draw a mask. You are 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 a mask. Nina, you have to control. You have to learn how to control your anger. I'm I talking to you. So turn around to me when I'm talking to you. If I had an anchor part, baby, I would have jumped up and I would have smacked her. It's but no, you, it's no talking. But no, to it's you. a difference between. Her. It's a different. It's a difference between you saying you can control your anger and being disrespectful. I could control okay, my anger. Okay, I understand. I want to be disrespectful. I'm grown. I came in and you were cussing in the hallway. To you her. It doesn't matter. She's cussing at me. It doesn't I'm matter. grown. Like, I'm not going to hold Sometimes you have to walk away from situations. I'm trying to help you as much as possible. I want the best for you. I see potential in you. I just don't want you reverting back to your old ways. You I have to understand okay. that sometimes all right, you have to no control. Boy, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, because I'm going to get mad, and then I'm going to fuck her up when she come outside. So I don't really want to talk about it. I'm going to fuck her up anyway when she come outside. You're not going to do anything to Yes, I am going to do something to no, Yes, I am. Yes, I you am. You're not. Nobody's not going to stop me. Who do you think going to stop me? What? You're not going to do anything Watch to me her. drag that ass. So ain't nobody seen Skittles. I'm wondering what he doing, but he promised me that he was gonna uh, get back in the gym, and get back in the gym, and I've been thinking about it. <clears throat> so right now I'm like, let me go see what the fuck he at. But God damn, man, I mean, Skittles was just getting into it. You know, I understand the break situation, but God damn, if you wanna do it, have to, man. You have to want to do it. Skittles in here? Oh. Skittles. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is up with you, man? Chilling. Huh? Chilling. Chilling, huh? So I got to do this. I got to come uh -oh. get you, huh? This is fucked up, sure. What? Last time I see you, you supposed to be, I was, what you gonna do? You say, I'm coming back, I'm doing this, I I'm doing that. What the fuck? Nothing, I Look at oh. you, smoking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking doing like all the bullshit. See, you I'm know, know drink, for a I'm fact, a you know for a fact that you gotta cut all that shit out. Yeah. And you gotta I'm bow gonna... down and you gotta work. Man, they got a couple of tournaments coming up, man. I'm gonna I'm put you in them, I'm telling you the truth. What you wanna do? I'm a cop, I'll go. Huh? I'll go. Because I'm just telling you, if you do it, I'm, I'm with you, Skittles. I'm all telling right. you, 100, I'm with you, man. I'm I'm, I'm going to take care of you. I'm, that's all I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to get your confidence level where mm -hmm. it's supposed to be. I know it get rough, and it get rough for everybody. Listen to me. Money-wise, you be want to get high, you be get drunk, want to party, all that shit. This is this the time to man up. Man, fuck that shit. I'm going to gym tomorrow. 
I'm in the gym tomorrow. That's what I'm saying. You heard me. Fuck y'all. Now, if you shake my hand on this, you in. Now, what you gonna do? All right. All right, you in? Yeah, my man. man, that's all I'm gonna say. All right. I'll be, yeah. I'll be in touch with you. All right. My man. All right. I was kind of excited to see the old boy up to his bullshit again. I'm just gonna give him a, two weeks. And if he don't, I got to move on to the next. Man, I'm trying to save the young man's life. That's the top of the story, and that's the bottom of the story. All that other shit between don't even matter. Just trying to save his life. I'm going to 14th and K Street. When you come down on K Street, that's where all of the acceptance is for real, for real. But it's, it's crazy. First time that we ever, you know, did it. It wasn't prostitution because we didn't know what we was doing. Dress up like a girl, you went outside, everybody trying to offer you money, everybody talking to you. Judges and lawyers and doctors. You was like, okay, and then you just fall into it. When you push down the streets, your parents not taking you to no football games, no basketball games. You're not going to no after school program, going to the library. No, it was not that. No one teach you nothing. You learn from each other in the streets. That's that's what after school was. So being with a check it, we always stuck together, no matter what. What's up, man? Thank you. I got a client's car. We went to our spot up the block a little bit, and he backed into the alleyway. But when he backed in, he backed in so and so as though that my car cannot open anymore. So but basically, he was not going to let you out. It was a brick wall right there, so there so was no climbing out. Get out. Exactly. I had to actually fight my way back out of the car. So it was a really dangerous area for you to be in trying to persuade a man to pay you for something that he can actually take from you. Exactly. Not you would never see that person again. So if you go to good. the police, oh, what the police going to do? Yeah, and they, they can't find never, him because. They would never tell you their real name. They would never give you their real <laughs> name. Like, they would never tell you their real name. I mean, that's just crazy. This can't last forever. Because once you get to a certain age, you're not viable no more. So I'm gonna walk off and go have to get some money, girl. Okay, well, you and I want you stuck on everything, okay? Okay. Life Thank you. I just want people to understand and know what is really going on. I don't never want to do. It. I never wanted to do it. It's just a choice that you make, and it's something that you do. You put a wig on. You go out there. You sell your body. And you make money to survive. I don't wouldn't want this lifestyle for anybody. There's nothing that nobody should want for this. I want better. I just want better. less than a week away, OK? We have over 30 costumes that has to be made for the show for the dancers. And this is just banana skirts that you guys are working on now. You have to do a lot of rhinestoning next week. It's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. So I need everyone to be focused. And y'all need to separate. Oh, One go over here. One go over here. Oh, see, there you go. You I didn't even say nothing, and I wasn't. didn't say anything, me. but I'm separating you two. I fucked people kids left, so I just said, See, there you go. Now the show starts. Now, okay, please. Thank you. Hello. 
Come on, I'm a week away from the show. I don't have time for shows, OK? Nobody can judge me, bitch. Can't no one judge me, bitch? They just need to understand, like, I'm all hormonal and shit. I'm pregnant and shit. <laughs> with the fag. Starting Friday, if it's anyone disrupting the class, if anyone that's holding us up, you're out. Mm -hmm. Don't get upset if I just send you home, you terminate it. It is what it is. Joel, I can't um, pick no bedazzles up because um, my nails ain't no going to allow me. Anything else you need me to help you with, I got you. But the bedazzles on the floor, my nails. Let's go, come on. You're holding us up. <laughs> yeah, my name is Dr. Lorraine. I'm checking for breast cancer. Oh, hey, B. I was calling you this morning. I need to get high. I mean, motherfucker. Watch your mouth. I'm sorry. You don't do what you got to do. You come and you gig when you laugh. You sit down and you don't. You really don't do nothing else. And I'm telling you that because I'm your friend. I'm letting you know how I feel. I guess my girls, they feel like it's funny. They just feel like it's funny. That's on them. You need to take that problem up with them. Tell them stop giggling. But you're not doing anything to better yourself. I am. I know you should. Sister, no, you should. Out to, it, you have to be a leader sometimes. Sometimes you have to come down for two days. She got something to be Do not take that. Do not You have to be a leader. We're not taking that. We're letting her know she's wrong. And I'm not going to be wild. She always want to resolve the fight. All she got to do is swing, bitch. I ain't got no problem. But after today, I'm through with it. I'm so serious. I'm through with it. I can't be around bitches who don't want better for themselves. Because then you drag me down. I want better. I want a high school diploma, GED, and all. Because when I start back school, I want a job. I want my own place. But I'm just going to be the first one to step up and say, I'm through. Bye. That's not kind. think a lot. Why places like this make you think? You could just clear your thoughts. Ooh, look. Elevators. I used to want to be a veterinarian. I like animals. People rather hurt them or make them fight each other. That's not how it's supposed to be. I like big cats, like lions and cheetahs and stuff. I love their survival skills. That's the only thing I love, how they, how they survive in packs. That's beautiful. I try to survive through a lot. Parent-wise, a father figure and a mother figure, like, I never had, for real. My father chose to be a jailbird. And then my mother with the drugs was taking over her, so she couldn't do nothing but get high. She was killing herself. Like, I just left home, and I just never returned ever since that day, and ever since, like, when I was, like, 12, 13. It was like the only person I felt that loved me was gone. So it was like, it was no more love there. That's why I never showed no one my weak side. But that's why when I cry, I cry alone to myself. It's like Superman. You know, once people found out that he was allergic to the kryptonite, they used it against him. Every time he got strong, they made him weak. So, like, I'd rather not have a weakness, because that means nobody can have nothing to taunt me about or nothing to throw in my face. It's been a rough month for me. I done been slept in my car, beef with uh, my wife, and got divorced, all that shit, lost my house. You get into your moments 
once you're going through your bullshit with though, man, fuck that, fuck that positive shit. Ain't no fucking food no more. Leave. Leave. You probably taste good as shit. Chop the shit out your little ass. I'm wondering where Skittles at, man. We got the going, we got the got shit started, then he disappeared. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But motherfucker need to get back in the gym because it could save his life. Don't let no one motherfucker bump in the road slow your road. Don't let one punch knock you down. That's the end of the fight. Nah, we got 12 motherfucking rounds, baby. Mm-mm. <laughs> Get the fuck up and keep fighting. Man, you're gonna be like, ah, damn, I'm winning this motherfucker. And I just got, you understand what I'm saying? I'm just telling you the truth. Okay. I mean, they, it's really, it's really done. Fuck. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? Mommy time. Honey, 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 bee. I have won this fucking club. I have won this fucking club. I have won this fucking club. Won this club. I have won this club. Bottle service on deck, niggas know who I be. I turned up in a cut for a late night better. Can never do this like this, not these motherfuckers. Watch me throw it back and knock a nigga out of his head. Baby, check it original. What's the shit? I'm the jacket original. Elevator up. <laughs> All craziness. Everybody is cray cray out here tonight. For the past few years that we've been coming down here, this is like an everyday thing. Shit just went down. Somebody jumped my friends. Jump tape on them at the um, H&M. People always want to fight and stuff. Especially when they get down here, so. Oh, this is where all the drama at. Back here! Back here! Yeah, they passed out. Somebody gonna give us some water. Oh my God. Drink it. Get up, get, get up. up, get up, get up, get up. Y'all can't pick him up yet. Yeah, you gotta wait. He passed out, boo, and he can't breathe. Hey guys, step back. Guys, step back. What happened? Yo. Yo. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me though? Knock me down for shit. Move that shit. I'm not one. I'm not one. Don't on me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't hands on me. Record it. Spray me. Record it. Record it. Now spray me. Record it. Spray me. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Just go there. I'm not gonna. My friend was talking. You a bitch. I'll find this lady on the ground. Fuck down. Fuck down. Say. 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 No, fuck. No, sorry, bitch. I got you. Fuck the bitch. It's okay, sir. Go back to war. Just pay them no attention. Or they just try to lock you ass. They're not worth you going to jail. Big one out. Say you're still talking. Bitch, I ain't. Don't do shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what you do. Come with that shit. Hit me with that. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck that shit. 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 Day Day and Tamar, all of them got jumped. They just got jumped, beat up by a group of boys. I don't know how this is going to go. I just know this is going to be a wild summer day. Because now this is a beat. Hey, 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 hey,
Bing, bing. It's like 20 of them going to jump on us, cut that off. Your ass boy is going to have me by my head. Stripe up off on the outside. Stop my ass. Boom. They said they too deep. They low boy. They some key. I was surprised. They saw the Some of my friends still try to figure out why I'm so angry. Like, I get mad fast. Anything ticks me. I'm like a ticking bomb. I said what? That's because I don't think young gay men who've been murdered, who've been killed, queens found in woods, queens found in cars and trash cans. A lot of kids out here in the streets like I was, not even here today, but I am. Nobody can hurt me. There's nothing you would do to me that haven't been done before to me. Hello, and thank you for calling the DC Rape Crisis Center. If you have reached this message, we are busy assisting other callers. I was calling because I'm I'm looking to find some answers. Um, I was raped, and I took a report and everything, but. No one have yet to contact me or say anything to me. And I just want to know what's going on, what should I do next? Let me get the general number and they should be able to direct you to the general number. OK. You know, as far as rates and stuff, it's definitely not right away. Like, it usually occurred like a couple months before. The only thing that you can do is contact the district of the police officers that took the information to ask them. I just did, and they uh, gave me this number. We're sorry. The number you have reached is not in service. Do you know the person who did it? That, I don't, I don't know his full name. You have to have a first and a last name at least in order to file anything. You can't tell me who, so I will have to deny your application. That is crazy. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. If you get raped, by somebody you don't know, how can you give up a first and last name to a person? That just doesn't make sense. He held me in the house, wouldn't let me out, kept pulling on my clothes. He kept dragging me back. I tried to get out. He pulled me down in his basement. And I don't want to talk about it. The check it, they had obstacles that most people don't have. Normally, people have someone to turn to, whether it's a mom, a teacher, coach, right? They didn't have anybody. So they lean on each other. That's what a gang can be. It's a family. When nobody else was there, they had each other. I think most of them know that time is running out. But they, they see a glimpse of hope now. And this hope has opened a window for them that they're trying to crawl through. In this case, you're dealing with something special, you're dealing with something dangerous, and you're dealing with something with a lot of potential. Potentially great or potentially disastrous. I just need everybody to listen to their supervisor today, do what is told of them, and let's have a fabulous show.
my pool against that, it looks like a dry. It's a little one in there. We gotta find somebody that has an iron too. I think they yeah. on this side. I think they on this side. No, I don't like why he's on this oh, side. Oh, Michael on this side. Can I get girls as soon as y'all finish with that? Come here. I have to find Jamal and it is not even high. This smell is. Like, we need to get these out of the way because these are the first one. Her dress is red. Her. Who problem is that? We've been here since like um 10 o'clock this morning. I've been busting my ass off. Excuse my friends, but I've been working all day. And use your indoor voice. I am. There's another venue up here. OK. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Yeah, like that. I'm professional. Showtime, people. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the 2013 Jamal Harris Project. I need them girls to hurry up. I need to dress put it on. He wants y'all into Y'all gonna see some. Line up, boys, line up. Jimmy stuff making me dizzy. I need another safety man. They gotta back up, back up. Let's go. Go, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate all of you guys for supporting the Jamal Harris Project. As you all know, this is my seventh year working with the young people of the District of Columbia. Some of you know that I work for Cesar Galindo. He's a wonderful guy. He has allowed me to bring five young people from our program to assist him with New York Fashion Week. One of the special people that I am taking to New York City with me. Let's give it up for Dana. I worked hard for this, this moment. I worked pretty hard for it. I'm very proud of us, of all of us. It's no jealousy. I just think um, we should have both went, because we both did the same shit. But it's OK, because I'm still fabulous. And congratulations, Zali. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Zali. Thank you. <laughs> It's so different. This thing didn't go back to the pool. Bitch, you gotta go jump off a bridge. Look at that over there. Look at our view. Like, like I'm dead serious. Look at our view. This is cold! This is cold! This is cold! Ooh, 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 ooh! Y'all are doing too much! Oh, look at the bag again! Oh, look, bitch! Or to your left. Your left, that ain't. The main thing you're doing is the quick changers, getting girls in the garments, steaming, the whole nine yards, OK?
All right, you guys good back here? You good? All right, cool. Pull this little flap here. There we go. Get her ankles, her ankles are ashy. I'm Caesar. Thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for coming, guys. You're welcome. No, they say it's long in the front, but short in the back. Anita, this isn't working. It's better if it's straight down flat. Stand against the wall over here. Go that way, they're gonna place you all. Well, we have to try to see if Caesar allow me to bring interns again for next oh, season. Okay. Yeah. Caesar like us. He said y'all move pretty fast. I like that. Everybody was like, can we have y'all? We want y'all. We want y'all to stay. Oh. Can y'all leave here? Just come and leave. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> oh, that is the horse. I don't know about you, but this stuff is exciting to me. It was something that I would enjoy to see again. Something that's somewhere down the line in the future. A VIP pass to everything. Was to, amazing. Yes, that was... That was that to was, give VIP to everything. Now, that's what you call hot. That's what you call on the Because she enjoyed herself. And she did, too. Absolutely sitting up in the, <laughs> sitting up in the sky, in the sky box, box. That's good. Drinking a little water champagne. Thank you. <laughs> Get hit by a, taxi. a lot of people that's with the check in, they feel in their mind that they can't be nothing or make it. But look where I'm at now, so I proved them wrong about that. Coming here really frustrated me a lot because when I get back there, I still have to go back to the problems. It just puts on pause. When I get back there, I have to play it over again. You ain't gonna make nothing in this. Yeah, Cause it's only it's, it's, it's nothing but trouble. Then. But who who knows the future? I can't say I'm gonna move away because when my mother died today on the mall, you don't know what can happen. That's why I never talk about. I never predict the future. I'm not gonna plan for tomorrow. I'm not gonna plan for the next day after tomorrow. I'm gonna just live for today. So how's everything going to school then? Uh, good. I go back the second week in September. But me being in a game and me being around all these people that I know not thinking about nothing but doing negative things, that is not helping me. So wh what good is it doing me to actually go to school right. and Come try back. to better myself, but I'm coming back home to, to a mess? That don't even make sense. 30 people been shot in 10 days. Where does it? All over the city. Like, wow. southwest where Skittles live, six people were shot. Wow. So it's, it's heating up again. So you're in the right place, man. I'm just happy, man, to see you moving forward. One of the things I told you is only a few people who are leaders and trendsetters. And once you set the mark and the path, everybody else follows. You know, you are somebody who, who's genuinely needed. And a lot of times you plant seeds and people won't take them right away. They won't grow, but they don't forget what you tell them. You just don't stop, man. Uh, well, we're headed to the uh, convention center to see Mr. Duke Buchanan, who uh, gave uh, Skittles some of his undivided time when he was pursuing his boxing career. Duke got been aged, so we're going to see if he can do the George Foreman Bernard Hopkins Spain, or is he going to be over the hill? We're going to go show the brother some support since he supported us. Doogie Woogie. What's up, black man? Hey. What's that? Where Skittles at? Skittles, what's up? You know, you, and, and you know, you, you, you can't push them up the ladder if they don't want to climb. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Try to get Skittles' ass and get with it. He disappeared on me. I'm having two fights tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
Nope. See, I'm finished this one. I'm going to whoop your ass. There you. Somebody, somebody. Been seven years since I fought. People said, why are you fighting again? Saying I'm too old, I'm 46. Who does that type of shit? I tell him, me. Let's go, big dude. Come on, come on, man. Long time, baby. Yeah. Long time. My point is to prove Skittles that if you put your mind to anything, you can accomplish it. I want to expire. I'm making him be like, damn, what the fuck? Tonight, he's back, bigger, better than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, the native son returns home, DC's own, Duke Buchanan. <laughs> You got to be the one to change you. Because it's in him. I know it's in him. Hopefully, Skittles can see it. Win, lose, or draw. The thing is, just prepare yourself for war. You have to fight to be successful. Is you gonna quit and be a motherfucking sucker, or you gonna keep going? The things that I actually been through in my life, I don't want no youth to go through. I just want everybody to learn from the mistakes that we went through. Being with the check it, it's actually shown that if you're in a situation and you can think you can't get out of, it is a way you can get out. So we want to thank God that it was Brother Mo who brought together us together with the check it crew, amen, the check it family, amen. It's a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender crew of a gang, right? And I was like, I don't care who they are. If they're a gang, we working with them. Amen, somebody? Amen. Come on up, come on up, come on up, come on up. Y'all need everybody up on their feet. Today is a good day. Praise the Lord, everybody all around. Y'all can sit down, I want to talk to you. <laughs> when I first started out, I was 14 years old, and I started out to the check it. But it's OK, because now where I'm at in my life, Come on. I have made a whole 360 on everything. I know I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I was yesterday. We have to open our arms to the young kids that's coming before us. They need our support. They need our help. And without our help, they are not going to make it. And, I'm, and I thank Ronald Moulton because he actually stepped in and helped us throughout our whole journey of where I'm at. And it's the hard work and dedication that you actually put into the youth that people don't recognize. I see it, all the hard work that you have done for free. So if anybody never say thank you, I'm thankful for what you have taught me and what you have shown me. Thank you for that. Y'all give it up. Y'all give it up. Come on, somebody need to say thank you, people. What's so special about checking? They have been able to survive do so much. They resilient. To know that some of them are going to make it, some of them are going to make it, it's amazing. But we can't forget, it's still children right on K Street blocks away, 13, 14 years old prostitute. 
This is right at the doorstep of the nation's capital, the White House, where some of the most powerful people in the world reside. And it seems like nobody gives a damn. So do we just turn our back on our children? Are we going to give up? Things ain't fun and games anymore. It's time, you know, you got to grow up and become better, want better for yourself. I know time doesn't wait for no one. I would say we was role models for a lot of years. Because I had a lot of kids come up to tell me, like, I saw you stand up for yourself. I saw you take your ground. I saw you mark your mark, like, and not let that guy come up to you and do whatever he want, whenever he want, and however he want it. You had two options, either to run or to fight, and we chose to fight. You know, I believe that we can go down to history. Because, you know, we changed a lot of things that used to go on, don't go on now. A lot of gay bashing and stuff that used to happen, I think we played a big role in it not happening no more. Even though we had to go about it a violent way, at the end, it still proved the point. If no one was gonna stand up for us, we stood up for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> 